hessies welcome to thick girls guide it is almost december so we are going to do the first gift giving guide of the season um this is a men's gift giving guide because i feel like they are so hard to shop for so i really put a lot of thought into this and wanted to give you guys something to really work with for any man in your life whether it be your husband a boyfriend a uh, brother, a friend of yours, nephew, cousin, whatever, um, any any kind of man in, in your life. And hopefully this helps you guys because I feel like, again, they are so difficult to shop for and there's so many different types of guys in the world. So this is very much, a, I would say, an all-inclusive guide for a lot of different types of men and things I think that they would really enjoy and use, get use out of, and something that's more personal than just a gift card. While gift cards are great, they're also very impersonal. So, you know, they're great if you, if you don't really know a person or know where they shop or what they like or something like that, gift cards are fine. Um, but if it is a family member, I feel like I'm probably gonna put more thought into that, you know, that gift. So. Um, hopefully this helps and let's get into the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Hussy Gang, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. And I have filmed this in two different parts because there was a lot of different items and also I was waiting for one of the items was being sent to me free for review. And so we'll go over that and so I wanted to add that in here. But what I found when I was watching other gift guides from like last year that um, other YouTubers had made is they were kind of boring. And did they really cater to men? No, not really. So that kind of irked me a little bit because I want to think outside of the box. I want to give the men in my life something that they will actually use, that they'll actually love, and, and not just a gift card. Um, I find those to be a little bit cliche. Um, obviously, I still give gift cards from time to time, especially if I'm, if I'm not... If I don't know where like that person, you know, if I don't know their sizes or if I don't know what they really like, then I think then gift cards are handy for that. But for the people close to you, I would say try to get out of the gift card box and find something that they will actually enjoy. And then I guess, of course, there's a, there's a gift receipt. So get one of those. If they don't like it, they can return it. Anyway, so the other thing that I found is like, um, they were very cliche items, like a magazine subscription or socks. Girl, your ass doesn't want any socks and you sure as hell don't want a magazine subscription, so don't be giving that to other people. Socks, fine, for stocking stuff or like cute little fun theme socks or something like that. Or if they want like, um, you know those like really soft, plushy warm socks for winter okay fine but as a like a gift gift like aim higher please <laughs> thank you anyway <laughs> let's get into the first item here um so again this was sent to me free for review now i will disclaimer this with this is my brother's company okay so i mean it's not that like pr <laughs> special <laughs> um but this is a really funny gag gift, um, but also it, they do make really quality, really great quality items as well. So it is called Dutch Oven Kits. And if you don't know what Dutch ovens are, it is not the pot that you can cook in <laughs> on the stove. I mean, that is called a Dutch oven. But the du other Dutch oven is the fart blanket where you fart and then you cover the other person in it and they get to suffer. Okay, and if y'all haven't done that, you lying, don't even, <laughs> don't even come for me. I mean, I swear everyone has done that to somebody in their whole life. Anyway, so <laughs> this is great for a white elephant gift. It's also... Um, great for, I would say just any gift. Men think it's hilarious. They do. Okay. So if you're going to a holiday party, you need something like that, hit Dutch ovens up. So, um, 
there is a couple different size boxes. So this is the deluxe, which I'll be unboxing for you guys. There's also just like the regular one. Um, on top of that, they have some other gift items um, and we'll go into that in a second. So let me get the pricing. So the original Dutch oven kit is $34.49. Um, the deluxe, which is what I have here, is $44.49. Um, and then I don't want to get into the spoilers of it. So I'll go over these, the prices of other things in a second here, um, but they also have shark wash. <laughs> so it's actual handmade bar soap. And of course their package says never trust a fart. And let's open this up here. So they have a couple different fragrances. This one is the oatmeal milk and honey let me move that little that little thing there so this is the um packaging here let me move that off it's getting in the way of the packaging this one smells pretty good but that's what it looks like it's kind of t uh, like a tan color um and the other one they have is a lavender lemongrass and do they have other ones yes the Third one they have is Hawaiian, is it Pua? I think so, Hawaiian Pua. <laughs> Does it smell? Kind of smells, I'm trying to think if it's florally or, there is a little bit of a tropical, like fruity, like almost um, pineapple-y scent to it, like a light pineapple. This one is oatmeal spice. This is their holiday scent. Oh, that one smells good. It smells kind of like an apple crisp. Okay, I'm about it. This one's my favorite, Richard, by the way. That's my brother's name. Yeah, so those, they have four different scents, um, but they also have other things like a Shart Wash emergency gift box. Um, that is $23.98, and it comes with some Shart wipes, it comes with some bar soaps, comes with some fun stickers, which I'm sure that their uh, stickers are in the box because they're super cute. So all sorts of different items um, that you can get on the website, but super fun. Again, great for like a white elephant gift. You'll get laughs. People will be trying to steal it for sure. You can also get just the bar soap if you wanted to. So if you want to do like little stocking stuffers, that'd be so funny. Uh, but you can get a three pack for $18 or you can do a seven bar pack for 36. All right, let's get into unboxing the actual um, deluxe kit here. And, oh, this is like tight. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Okay, so this is what we got when we open it up here. So I'll go over everything that's inside here. But the first thing, and I would say probably the most important thing, is the Dutch Oven Kits Authentic Recipes. And it's basically like how to do different Dutch ovens. So this is, I'm going to kind of zoom in there. So it's like little people in the blanket there. So this is the classic. Then they've got the creeper. On the back they have the fart fortress. And then the last one is the, the screaming eagle. <laughs> um, so that is, I would say, this obviously explains like everything about the box, so you need that. The next thing that you get is you get a car freshener, and this is the Dutch Ovens Farting Shark. I don't know what scent it is. I don't know, but it's sealed. I can't smell it. Um, you also get a clothespin, and I, I, this is an adult diaper. <laughs> um, the next thing that you get is you get some super fun stickers. So this one's my favorite. The little farting unicorn is adorable. Um, we have the super cute little gorilla who's farting. We have the cats here. Of course, the shark, the sharding shark maybe. And then Dutch oven kits logo and then their shark wash. So super fun stickers. Um, you also get a pack of the Shart Wipes. Um, and then, of course, the 
item here. They have these throws in a bunch of different colors. Um, I do love this color. But they also have funny names for the blankets. These are really great quality throw blankets and they're pretty big um, as well. So it is something that he can actually use or whoever you buy it for can actually use, um, which is, I would say, a great gift. The um, There is a bunch of different throw colors. These sold out before Thanksgiving, before Black Friday, I believe. Um, last year, about two weeks beforehand. So they um, have definitely stocked up. So they are prepared for the holiday season. But if you're interested, go to dutchovenkits.com. Of course, that is linked down below. So thought this was a good one. Of course, had to shout out to my brother's business since it definitely goes with the man's gift giving guide here. All right, and let's get into the rest of the video. Now I'm gonna start with the male targeted brands uh, because there are several out there and so one of them obviously is Dutch oven kits that I just went over um, obviously great for any kind of like um, white elephant gift just a laugh you can do it anytime if you're not just Christmas the next one I want to talk about though is man crates and if you haven't heard of this um, I'm going to throw several pictures up here for you, but it is basically, it's actually in a wooden crate. <laughs> so they have all different types of sets and it comes with a crowbar that you have to use to open it. And on average, it takes people about 15 minutes to get into this crate. Um, and then it's actually quality products inside. So they have everything from like uh, one that is like whiskey themed, beer themed, golf themed, jerky themed. I think they've got some like coffee grilling, coffee and grilling, not grilling coffee, obviously, <laughs> like a hunter's one, all sorts of different, uh, I think there's like a sports one and fitness one, but all sorts of different crates with like a whole theme to that little crate. And I think the one that I've seen in person, it's about like it's pretty big, like they're not small, but they have a bunch of different price ranges as well. So I think the cheapest one that I saw was about, I think it was like $59.99 and they go up from there. So they can get up into like 100, I think 179 or something like that, depending on what is in it. But I think those are so fun because it's not only it's like, you know, aha, try to get into this crate sucker, but it's also like a really fun themed gift. It's definitely something they're gonna remember for, you know, holidays to come uh, is when they got a man crate. So I think that is fantastic, a fantastic idea. And the next brand that's very um, targeted towards men is called Ballsy or it's ballwash.com. And of course, by the way, everything is linked down below. But what they have is different types of washes for down there. They also have bar soaps. They have um, like face care products for men. Um, and it's actually, it's really good quality products. I have gotten this for Honey Boo Boo previously. He really enjoyed it. Um, I know a couple of friends who have tried this and used it as well. Um, all very impressed. They also have gift sets and it's also, it's very cheeky and funny, like keep your jewels jolly, you know, and um, they also have trimmers. So they have a lot of that kind of stuff for men. And um, so I think that is is really funny, just uh, the names of the different things that they have. I'm probably not gonna repeat it here, but you can obviously go to their website. Um, so it's also, again, it's something that's funny, um, a little bit cheeky, but also is really good uh, quality products for your man in your life or for the men folk in your life, I should say. The next thing that I thought of is my dad is such a watch fanatic that one year I was like, okay, he already has a bunch of watches, but I was like, what is something different, some kind of different watch that I've never even even seen or thought of or anything like that. And I came across wooden watches. And I have to tell you, they're probably my favorite type of watch now um, because they are, they're just very cool. And you can get them very casual um, or very rustic if it's that type of man, but they also have um, 
other very like uh, classy styles, some that mix the metals with the wood, um, different tones of wood from light to dark. Um, so there's really a ton of varieties and obviously the price points are very, um, it's a very wide range. So you can get them for about $25 on up. Um, the most expensive ones obviously are probably a few hundred dollars and those are ones that are like made from oak barrels or like whatever. Um, so you get, you have a huge range of uh, different types of wooden watches. I tried pretty much everything in this video. I did try to keep it pretty um, median range for the items that I was looking at. Um, again, you can go cheaper, you can go more expensive, whatever you want to do, but I wanted to give you kind of like the middle of the road kind of um, items that I'm featuring specifically in this video, particularly. The next thing, kind of uh, piggybacking off of the watches, is if you have a watch collector in your life, do they have a watch case? So kind of like women, for, you know, have jewelry boxes and whatnot, there are uh, leather watch cases that you can put several watches in. Um, some of them have little pull-out drawers. They can put their other items in there, whether it be sunglasses or other types of jewelry they wear, maybe like a ring or a bracelet or something like that. Or there's ones that are just for watches and it's just like a double layered um, like watch, uh, not container, case, there we go. <laughs> So something that's very sleek and stylish. Again, this one is like um, it's like a leather case. I did see a really, really pretty wooden one that was like probably ninety three dollars or so. So more expensive. Um, so again, you can you can go on any range of of those. And a lot of this, by the way, is on Amazon. Um, but again, everything linked below. The next thing is a wallet. And this one that I'm featuring here, it's just very basic. For me, for every day, men usually prefer more kind of basic wallets. Um, but you can also go designer if you want to, if you want to get him a really nice upscale one, obviously like Coach and Michael Kors and Gucci. And if you want to go that far, you can. But there's a whole bunch on Amazon. Um, this one I would say is a little bit more, I guess a little bit rustic, but also it's RFID blocking, meaning that like if, if somebody walks by with one of those kind of scanner things, they're not going to get any of the card information. Um, and this is just like a genuine leather bifolding wallet, but of course you can do a whole bunch of different things. Okay, so that was the accessories category. Now, this one's just kind of a, a category all its own, which is power tools. Um, so I just linked Lowe's and Home Depot down below um, because obviously that is like, you know, men's heaven for <laughs> anything power tool related, either of those stores. Now, I will say that men are or tend to be very picky with what brand they prefer. Um, so if you don't want to ask them directly, maybe try to take a look around their garage, see what brand it is. Craftsman is always a great brand. Um, and then, you know, there's like DeWalt and I don't know the other ones, okay? Like some other ones. <laughs> some, there's a bunch of brands, all right? And also like I would ask, the, I, in this category, I would really try to ask them because you don't know really what they have or what they need, uh, what brand they prefer, you know, whatever. So that's why this one's a little bit broad <laughs> for power tools. But not only power tools, but if you've got someone who maybe just bought their first house or something like that, that comes with a whole lot of fixing things usually and people need tools to do that. So in that case, if this category is too broad, a gift card to Lowe's or Home Depot, I think would be appreciated for someone who um, is needing to pick up things like that in their life. The next category is going to be clothing and shoes. The first thing in this category I have is a leather jacket. And I have two featured here. So the first one is this brown kind of bomber style leather jacket. Um, obviously, you can do a ton of different styles for leather jackets. And if you don't like real leather, then of course you can do faux leather. So you can go either way. Also, the next one I have here is kind of a more, a more streamlined 
I would say it's kind of similar to a biker jacket, I guess. Um, but you can dress it up, dress it down. Um, just a black leather jacket. I think brown and black go with so many things. So if I was gonna buy somebody a leather jacket, I would probably stick with one of those colors unless they specified that they want something off the wall like you know red or green or yellow or whatever. But yeah, leather jackets are nice. Try to make sure you get the correct size so they don't have to exchange it. Uh, but it is always kind of hard to tell when you're ordering online. So the next thing up, I've got two sweaters. One is a dressier, both of them zip up the center here, but this one is um, kind of a really pretty charcoal gray. Also comes in an olive green and several other colors. Um, but it's just like a nice sweater for men to have in their wardrobe. So when they need to dress a little bit um, nicer for like a date or something like that, or even like a business meeting, they have something in their closet to do that with. The next one is more casual. So this is just kind of a zip up hoodie, but it's a little bit more sporty. And this one, I think it's, I think it's fleece lined, I want to say, um, but it looks really like cozy. So um, that's why I chose that one and just a little bit of a different design. Of course, you could always go solid. Those are always at like Target, Walmart, any of those places as well. The next thing is for the shoe lover in your life. I know so many men that are like fanatics about sneakers and a lot of them collect them as well. So, and some of them don't even wear <laughs> these ones that they collect because they want to keep them in mint condition. And I get that. So if you have that type of person in your life, then there are shoe storage containers that you can actually get. And the shoes obviously sit inside them, helps to keep like the dust off of them and all of that. Or if they're just fanatic about, get, maybe they still wear those sneakers, but they just like, you know, really like organization and wanna keep their belongings very clean and pristine, this could still be a great idea. Um, also, there's a shoe cleaning kit. This one I think would be great for like a stocking stuffer particularly. This I did find on Amazon, however, it is from, um, it's called Dead, Dead Stock in Los Angeles. And so it comes with like a natural cleaning solution, a shoe deodorizer, stain and water repellent spray, and then it comes with like the scrub, scrubby brushes to like um, get everything off of it and a little cloth as well with it. Um, and this works on a bunch of different types of shoes as well. So if, you know, if you have, again, a sneaker fanatic in your life, then this could be a really good one. The next one is a really good quality pair of slippers. Um, I chose this one, not particularly for the style or color, but really to show the indoor outdoor um, ability. So it has like a really um, good quality kind of sole on it. So you can go out and get the newspaper, go to the mailbox, you know, heck, if you want to wear these out to wherever the heck you want to go, you know, they're not going to take on water. <laughs> they're not going to uh, have the bottoms like rub out on them or anything like that. Like they actually have a, a good kind of like rubber sole made for the outdoors as well. Obviously you're not going to go hiking in these slippers, <laughs> but Something that's definitely gonna be more durable and last. Um, of course, I love a classic kind of moccasin style slipper as well. And that is it for, for, the, for the fashion. Next up, we're getting into the fitness junkies. So the first thing is maybe they need a new gym bag. What I liked about this particular bag is that it has like a separate compartment for like the stinky shoes. Also on the end, it holds like water bottles, but it had several different compartments to it. But yeah, particularly like gym shoes and shoes in general can just stink. So I love that it's like in its own separate, hopefully odor controls a, 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 a compartment of the bag itself. Um, the next thing is, I mean, you don't have to go with a Ninja Blender because I know those are pretty pricey. This one's I think $99, but they, are like, I like that they have blades kind of like normal blenders, right? They have like the little piece, the blade down just in the bottom. But with these, they have blades like in the middle and also at the top so that it really 
mixes the, they usually is protein shakes if you're making that or smoothies. So it's not just at the bottom, which I really like that about the Ninja Blenders. Um, I don't currently have one, but I'm thinking about one because Honey Boo Boo does make a lot of protein shakes. So I thought that would be something that's very handy. And then the next thing is workout equipment. If 2020 taught us nothing, it's that you may have to work out at home or, you know, gym memberships can be expensive as well, especially if they're very, I would say like well-known gyms, they can get up there. For the gym goer, maybe they don't want to always have to go to the gym. So this is something that I feel like is not going to take up too much room that they can still get a good workout on. The next thing are these adjustable dumbbells. Now these are pricey. So they are like, I think $325. So these dumbbells go from five pounds up to 52.5 pounds. Now again, they are pricey, but at the same time as they don't take up a lot of space, right? So you just kind of click it into what you need it to be and then it adjusts accordingly. So I thought that was really cool, especially somebody who maybe is in, in, an, in an apartment, there we go, and they don't have a lot of room. These are very compact compared to a bunch of different, like, you know, free weight dumbbell type of things laying around like the apartment. So I thought those were really cool. Okay, so that is it for the fitness category. I just labeled this one beverages. Uh, because it's covering all sorts of types of beverages. <laughs> so the first one is a mug warmer. Now I put two different mug warmers in here because I would say the price range is pretty big. Um, I mean, I guess not. I mean, there's a bunch of different types of mug warmers. So I just wanted to show a couple of them. This one has a cord and this is kind of your more basic version. Um, you can pretty much put any type of mug on this thing. And the next one is from Ember. And this one I would say is probably the most well-known. It is about $100 to $130, somewhere in there. They also have them at Costco right now, I think, for 99. But I think the stainless steel one that's here, I think is $130, but there's um, also a couple different colors. This is a wireless mug warmer, but also you can control the temperature from your phone. So it has an app for it as well. So that is something that I think is, is really unique to the Ember uh, mug warmer rather than the, just kind of the regular standard one. You have to plug it in and all of that. Um, and it has to stay plugged in. Um, and a lot of them do have a, like kind of an auto turn off, you know, just so, just I would say for safety. The next thing is a beer making kit. So for the craft beer fanatic in your family, and you probably have at least one, um, because it's all the rage. <laughs> um, but if they have ever been interested or if they, you know, have ever wanted to try it, I think it would be kind of a fun at home DIY, uh, to make beer yourself. So something to think about. The next thing is a cocktail set. So if you have someone who is, um, really into mixology um, or just drinking in general <laughs> and maybe they really do like to experiment with different cocktails and whatnot you know do they have all the tools to be able to you know do everything that's needed to make these different cocktails so comes with obviously is 24 pieces comes with um, a lot of those different pour spouts the shaker um, the long spoon for stirring and layering um, all sorts of different stuff but also it has the little holder which I like the next thing, I'm not gonna lie, I was a party girl <laughs> when I was back in my 20s and I had one of these. Uh, this is the cocktail carousel and it holds six different bottles of hard alcohol. Obviously they are flipped upside down and um, ready to go. So you can put all sorts of different stuff on there, but um, Especially if you, maybe if you have like an at-home bar or something, this would be super, super handy. So that was it for the beverages category. The next one is fun and games. The first thing that I featured here is a poker set. So if you have somebody who has like boys nights or they really like card games or gambling or whatnot, 
definitely a good quality poker set is essential for them. The next thing I put in here, this is a pricier item and it's an electric scooter. This is um, at Costco currently, and this is by Segway. Um, this is about, I think it's like, it's almost $700. So it's pretty pricey. You can find them cheaper, um, but this one was really, really good quality. And um, Honey Boo Boo actually bought it and is all about it. So he has a blast on it, has like a little bell on it. Um, I've not tried it yet. I don't know if I want to, I feel like I'm just gonna like end up in, a, in the bushes, <laughs> you know? But uh, it looks really fun, we'll say that. The next thing I have here is a movie projector. So with this movie projector, the one thing that I did like is that it comes with the screen. So you don't have to buy that separately, which I was, I don't know why I didn't even think of that. <laughs> until I saw it listed here, but I was like, oh yeah, you would need a screen probably. There we go. But anyway, so this one comes with everything you need so they can start watching movies. You can put it outside, you can put it inside. So really, really cool. Especially if you have like a movie fanatic or buff in your life. Um, if they don't already have one, that's a great idea. The next thing is the PS5, of course. Now, granted this came out last year and you still can't get a hold of it even now. So good luck, may the odds be ever in your favor if you're looking for this one. Uh, but of course you can get it at Best Buy, Walmart, Target. I don't know, maybe Costco, Sam's Club, GameStop, but they sell out in like seconds. So I have not been able to get my hands on one yet. Though, I haven't been trying that hard. So, but every time I, um, I do even try to look for it, it's sold out everywhere. The other thing is the Xbox that is in stock, if you're interested in that. Um, the one I linked is on walmart.com. But it, yeah, if you have a gaming fanatic in your family, this of uh, these of course are pretty expensive and up there. So yeah, it is, if you, if you wanna get a little bit more generous, that's of course an option. The next category is travel and an outdoorsman. So uh, with travel, this one's got quite a few items here. Um, the first travel thing that I did, and this is, this is up there, so don't come for me, but a cruise, or you could also do um, like just a, a weekend getaway or um, going elsewhere, you don't necessarily have to do a cruise, but that's kind of my suggestion. If you have a traveling fanatic in your life and that's something that, you know, you really want to give to them, that is always an option and they would be ecstatic, I would hope, um, to receive something like that. The next thing is a GoPro. So not only for traveling, but also just for that action junkie in your life, if they like mountain biking or snowboarding, skiing, um, BMX biking, whatever. These GoPro cameras, I do have one. And I will say the, I have the, I think it's the Hero 7 or 8. The quality is fantastic. Um, uh, the also, the thing that I like about it as well is that the whole body of it can go underwater. It's waterproof. And that's really what I use it for. So, and also what I love about the GoPro is the software is so easy to use. Um, you get an app on your phone, you can view it, it connects automatically for you. Um, I think they're also voice, you can do voice commands on them as well. But that's what I really loved about it because I had a, another action camera and while the, the quality of it, the, the picture and the film was still really good, it was a nightmare to try to get it off of the damn camera to where I could like share it on social media or even to get it on my phone. It was a freaking nightmare. That's all I'm saying. Again, these are pretty pricey. They're probably about the two, $300 range, depending on which one you get. The next thing are, tra are kind of like um, travel gadgets and stuff like that. So if you have somebody who's always traveling for whether it be business, pleasure, whatever, if they're always traveling, um, a good travel wallet, I would say is essential. It really helps to keep everything together 
all in one place. There is nothing worse than being out of like the state or the country and not knowing where your important documentation is, such as your passport, your ID, your credit cards, your cash, whatever. So I am extremely diligent when I travel, keeping that all together, keeping it secure, knowing where that is at all times. So this is kind of like an all in one type of wallet. Now it is on the bigger side because it does fit a passport in there. And um, it is also the um, RFID blocking as well. Next up, I have a luggage scale. So I don't know if men have this problem, but I sure as heck have this problem is where I am riding that line on the maximum weight of my luggage every single time I travel. So I don't travel without my luggage scale and it's very lightweight. It's just like this tiny little thing I'll put up here, um, but you can actually weigh your luggage before you get to the airport. So you know if you're gonna be over under, if you need to make adjustments or whatnot, keeps you from having to pay those horrible fees um, for an overweight luggage. Cause if you're just like 0.1 over, they're gonna, they're not gonna let you slide probably. The other thing that is really cool is the travel outlet adapter. So obviously other countries, their outlet plugs are different from ours here in the US and you need to have an adapter. So this is kind of an all-in-one adapter hat, can cover pretty much anything in the entire world here, all-in-one little compact uh, adapter. So that is pretty cool. The next thing is a portable charger. Um, again, nothing like being across the world or the country and your phone's dying. <laughs> so I think it is pretty important to have the portable charger. Um, even though airports a lot of the time now have USBs, everyone and their mother like is plugged into them. So to get one, it is pretty difficult. So there's that. So having a portable charger just kind of saves your butt. The next thing I would say is, this is, we're kind of going into the more outdoorsy type of man. Um, this is an outdoor survival kit. So if you have someone who really loves to go camping or hunting, fishing, whatever, um, this could come in really handy. So not only does it have like a uh, pocket knife in there, has a bunch of different tools you might need to use, um, fishing kind of equipment, a fire starter, um, emergency blankets, um, some first aid kind of stuff in there. I think this thing has like 35 pieces to it, but definitely an essential because you don't want to get stuck in the woods <laughs> and have nothing. Okay, that's all I'm saying. The next thing is a hiking backpack. Again, if they're very outdoorsy, they would appreciate this. Um, obviously you can find cheaper ones. You can also find very, very expensive hiking uh, backpacks. This one again is middle of the middle of the road. It's about 70 something dollars, almost $80 I think. But has a bunch of different compartments and all of that for everything you need to go hiking. The last thing I have here isn't, I, I mean, I guess it's outdoorsy, but it's a paintball gun. So um, I know a lot of guys love to go paintballing and have a lot of fun with that. So this is kind of a starter kit. If you've had somebody in your life who's been interested in that, this is like a whole kit to like kind of get them started. Of course, you can just get just the gun itself or go, you know, go a little bit cheaper, more expensive, or if they have something in particular, if they already have a gun, they need some kind of accessory. Um, you can always do that as well. The next thing I have listed is the, or next category I should say, is for your, your music enthusiast. I am digging the vintage style record players. Now I don't have any vinyl and I am sure as heck not gonna start buying it now. But there are a lot of people in the world who really love vinyl records um, and love that nostalgia as well. So the record players are on the rise. You can find a whole bunch of different cool ones on Amazon, but if you want to be a little bit more authentic, you could always check thrift shops to see if they have any. Um, and maybe you can score yourself a deal. 
The next thing is if you're a little bit more modern, um, a Bluetooth speaker, this is kind of the route that I prefer. Um, this one in particular, I really liked that you could change the color around it. Um, to any color that you want. So I found that cool. I don't have this one in particular, but I do have a DOS Bluetooth speaker. Um, fantastic quality. I've had it for three years, maybe maybe longer, three, four years now. Um, never had a problem with it. Great battery life. I really, I'm thinking about upgrading to this one because it's on sale for Black Friday. And I like that you could change the color and that's pretty much it. <laughs> So, um, of course, you can go higher end if you want to do like a Bose one. I don't know if Beats, I think Beats has a, a wireless um, speaker, a, a Bluetooth speaker as well, and all of that. So you can go really expensive with these. I don't know if it would be worth the money, to be honest. I find that these, these kind of cheaper ones, this one's about $50, they have really good quality sound. And so to me, I'm like, you know, spending $300 on a wireless speaker. I don't know if it's worth it to me. Comment down below if you have like one of those really expensive ones and like, do you notice a difference? I, I haven't, <laughs> to be honest. Now, the next thing are, of course, AirPods. And these are the ones from Apple. You don't have to do the Apple ones if you want. I know Beats makes some. There's a whole bunch of different brands on Amazon as well. Um, a lot less expensive. And then there's some that are even more expensive, of course. And if you have somebody who, again, this is probably good for a traveler as well, um, but also someone who works out a lot. That way they can work out to their music also. So I feel like these cover a lot of different categories. The next one is if you don't prefer the little earpiece like the, the AirPods, um, you can get some full on headphones. So um, I listed a couple headphones here. So the first one is by uh, Beats by Dre. And I've never tried these, to be honest. Everyone raves about them though. So that's why I, I kind of listed them here uh, because they do have really good ratings. They come in a bunch of fun different colors. And the uh, the ones that I have tried are from Bose and they are Honey Boo Boo's. Now those, when they say noise, noise canceling headphones, they mean noise canceling headphones. Those I believe are about like 300 and something dollars. They are very, very pricey, but you can absolutely tell a difference. Um, I have some like little cheapy, like $35 ones night and day difference. <laughs> so those I will say there's a huge difference uh, between, you know, a, a brand like Bose and, you know, some, I don't even know, some generic brand. <laughs> um, might still work fine. I'm not going to change them anytime soon. But when I do, I might go a little bit more, like more, a little bit more luxury, probably not like the $300 range. I feel like that's a little pricey for me um, for those kind of headphones, but maybe somewhere in the middle. I did list these um, lower priced JBL headphones. These are noise canceling headphones as well, but they're about $65. So actually, oh, oh, I just noticed. Okay, these are on sale. Uh, they're normally $130. They are on sale for 65. So I hope that is still going on by the time this launches. But if not, they also have some other ones that are that are normally like $50. So if you don't wanna go super pricey, of course you don't have to. The next category is, um, I put grilling, kitchen, and cooking. <laughs> Just kind of covering all of that. If you have like someone who's really into cooking, you gotta know that a chef is all about their knives, okay? And while this knife set is definitely not top of the line, um, I thought they were very cool and interesting looking. This whole set is about $100. I will say if you have somebody who is very much a chef in their life, they are not going to want that. Okay, don't even, don't enter the knife arena if you're not willing to be pretty generous with it. Because one knife for like a, a chef is probably like $60 on up um, for like a big, a bigger knife there. So um, I personally have Forstner knives and it's, um, I believe it's a German brand, but one of their knives, like one of the bigger, I think it was like 12 inch chef's knife or whatever. Those range about, I think they're like 60 to $80 per knife, just that one knife. 
Um, so they can get very pricey, but if you don't have somebody who's like a, <laughs> who's that bougie, a cool knife set that still has good reviews can be handy. Or if you have someone who just recently moved out and needs, you know, some really good quality, just kitchen stuff, you can still get great sets for not, you know, not, that's not going to break the bank. Um, the next thing is a grilling set. Men love to barbecue and um, they love smokers <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. So this could be really nice if they're really into that, a new grilling set, or if they're just starting to get into that and they haven't bought all the kind of the accessories and tools and whatnot, um, this is kind of an all-in-one kit for them. The last item I have here, she's a pricey one. Like I'm talking, you're gonna be real generous. <laughs> uh, this is a Traeger smoker. Now, I will say you can get cheaper smokers, but I listed this one because my family actually has um, Traegers and they swear by them. And they do a lot of meat smoking and they really specifically love Traeger. So that's why I listed it here because I can actually vouch for it, you know? Granted, this one is about 750 I think. Um, there was another one that was like 1400. So it depends on which one you're getting. These are pricey, but if you're just getting into it, of course you could get a, a different style smoker for cheaper. Um, either way, I think they are still pretty expensive. They're still a few hundred dollars, but wanted to throw that out there for the men in your life. The next thing, um, these are, these are um, kind of the last few ideas. There's no links for them because it really depends on what area of the you know world that you're in. So they're just kind of ideas. But um, sporting event tickets, if you have a sports fanatic in your life, they would love you. And of course, you kind of do have to wait until that sport is like about to start. So it may be the time of year where you can only get certain sports. You may not be able to get them, you know, what they want, depending on what time of year it is. But if somebody got me San Francisco Giants tickets, I'd be thrilled, okay? The next thing is concert tickets. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are getting back to normal a little bit. Uh, musicians are starting to tour again. I'm a huge music fanatic and there's a whole lot of artists that I would love to see. So check and see if their favorite artists are you know, about to tour, if their tickets are on sale. They would appreciate that. The next thing is comedy show tickets. So comedians are starting to tour again as well. The next thing is indoor skydiving. One, I've always wanted to try it. I don't know if I'm too fat for it or not. But <laughs> I'll just sink to the ground. It's fine. <laughs> but I always thought it would be really fun. And a like if you have somebody who's kind of more of an adrenaline junkie or if they, if they maybe don't want to do real skydiving, this is kind of a good alternate for it. Um, and it's always looked super fun. And then the last thing is um, kind of, a, I actually should have put this into the outdoorsman, sorry, uh, but fishing equipment. So if you have a fisherman in your life, this, this one's a broad one, kind of like the power tools because you never know what they actually have. Um, so I would, I would ask them, or if they're, if you happen to know if they're just starting to get into it, then, you know, maybe get them like a starter kit or something like that. But people are very particular about like the brands and the poles and the type of lures and depending on what kind of fish they're fishing for and all that jazz. Worst case scenario, a gift card to somewhere like Cabela's or uh, Bass Pro or, um, What's the other one? Sportsman's Warehouse, something like that. I don't know. There's a bunch of like hunting fishing stores in the world. So maybe a gift card to that if you're not sure. All right. So that sums up the men's gift giving guide. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Of course, everything is linked below. If you're interested in anything that I featured in the video, um, majority of it is on Amazon. Some of it is not. Some, some are the direct websites there. Hopefully you uh, get a great gift for the men in your life. They deserve to be appreciated too. So don't forget about them. And um, the last thing is, of course, we are doing the mega giveaway. Um, this is a picture of what you all can win. Uh, the winner is going to be announced on January 1st, 2022. Help me get to 5,000 subscribers. I love y'all and uh, would love to grow the fam bam as well. And all you have to do is be subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at Thick Girls Guide, which is also linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up 
and comment down below what are you planning to get for the men folk in your life. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.